Okay, uh, so this video is going to be kind of edited. I mean, it's not going to be edited in post or anything. It's going to be edited as I'm doing stuff because I'm really bad at like crafting gear. Um, I would what would be really good for me. I think would be like an option where when you craft gear, there's like a grab bag. Because right now you can craft you know helmets, uh, chests, whatever. You can craft you know specific pieces. Um, but I never really know like what pieces I'm going to replace at what times. Because usually when I need to replace gear on a unit, it's like everything they're wearing needs to be replaced, right? Um, and a lot, and a lot of times it's like, I don't know, it's just one of those things where it's like, I would like to just spend, um, some materials and then just get like a grab bag, 10 of just like whatever pieces or whatever, and then just kind of go from there. So, um, <clears throat> which is why I kind of like, like, I like getting my gear from farming the wyvern because it's just like, if it drops a good piece, that's a good piece. It doesn't matter whether it's a head piece or a uh, boot piece or whatever, right? It's like good piece is a good piece. It doesn't matter where it is. Um, but yeah, so anyway. Um, that, that's, like I said, I'll, I'll be editing as I go back and forth as, as, as I look at my units and go, okay, I need this for this or whatever, you know. Uh, but here we're looking at, um, this piece, my, my event piece. Uh, I think I'm just gonna roll this, um, just gonna confirm it and roll it. I have max on defense, crit chance, speed, and health. Basically what I want, I wanted this piece for Bellion, um, but now that I'm gonna get a Ravi, I'm probably gonna put it on a Ravi. And even if neither of those two units were gonna use it, um, this piece is just going to be good on anyone, um, like any bruiser who needs that. Uh, because while, like, okay, I'm one off max on health percentage, so I'm not going to keep rolling until I get 8854, right? Because that's going to be, like, forever. Like, it's not even, like, I'm not going to wait all month to not get the 1% increase, right? I may as well just get it now. Uh, on top of that, now, some might ask why there's no attack percentage on here, because, like I said, this is more for bruisers. And bruisers, like, you don't want to like you want to invest as much a lot of health and then to get more crit damage and all that stuff um but a lot of times people kind of neglect the, the defense percentage and i'm not saying you should like you know you want to i'm not saying you, you want to hit like 1400 defense on every on every bruiser right like alencia and all that i'm not saying you want to hit those numbers um but if a piece like this already starts off with max defense and maybe you get some max rolls into it then there you go you don't have to worry about defense on the other pieces right you can just if you want some attack focus on the attack but like the fact that the defense rolled so high and like it, let's say this is attack percentage you put this on alencia sure she's gonna get a lot a decent amount from attack or you know like a ravi even like right sure she's gonna get a lot from attack and all that stuff but um yeah she's gonna get a lot from the attack percentage she's gonna do damage but she's not going to get as much because she doesn't scale from attack as much as other units do so she's going to get less from the attack percentage then she's going to get relative to the tankiness she's getting from a max roll defense. Now, if I wanted this to be a 100% damage piece, and yeah, I'd go max roll, uh, attack percentage, and then, you know, whatever else, you know, the other piece is. But that's not what I'm looking for right now. Um, not to mention, like, those pieces are usually, that's all we're looking for, right? A lot of people, like, mainly you're always looking for those pieces, so that's what you're hunting down. Uh, but in this case, you know, you're not always hunting down, like, a bruiser piece like this. So I'm just going to lock this in, and we're going to we're gonna roll this and see how it goes. And after that, I'm probably going to go start crafting gear, and then we're going to see where that goes. Um, so this event is over. We're going to get another one when this one runs out on the 27th. So, um, like 13 days from now. So like I said, two weeks to like get a slight improvement. Right. Uh, but yeah, so like, like I said, if you wanted attack percentage on there, I wouldn't fault anyone. And I think attack would be good as well. Um, but for my purposes and for what I wanted, like the defense is like, it's, it's hard for me to pass up that, that max defense. Um, because like I said, you're already lacking so much defense on your other pieces because a lot of times you are searching for that attack percentage that it's like, it's just good to have one already max rolled. Uh, 7854, let's see what we get. Um, and the reason I'm rolling is because I have a lot of like next stuff. So we got a three speed roll, not too good, but not too bad. 70, so we got a seven defense roll, that's pretty good. You can see I have 16 of these. So 715, 5, 7. 715, 5, 7. I kind of need crit chance. 17, 15. So we got a 4. We got a minimum roll on defense. So this is already kind of like... Like it's good that I've got so much defense on this piece. Because it's kind of like one of the stats I wanted to supplement. But I kind of need... We have... Let's see. We won't have a roll at 12 and a roll at uh, 15. So I kinda, what I kind of need is another crit chance roll. And another health roll. Like if it's going to roll so like weirdly, it may as well like... Give me one of the other ones, but let's see how this goes. Okay, so we got a four. So they, this is this is kind of what I meant when I was talking about earlier, like why it wasn't such a big deal. A lot of people are like, oh, you have to, you they really want to stress out getting like the best possible stats, but then you have to remember that like you have to roll the piece of gear, right? And then 
you're not gonna like you're not gonna get all the rolls you want the way you want them. Um, so you can already kind of see this one's. It's not like worthless. It's still. I mean, I don't have any like I don't have that many um, immunity pieces, so this is still useful to me. But it's already kind of like lacking a lot of the luster that like you know I would have spent all month um, uh, rolling a piece or waiting waiting to roll a piece to have it just end up being a disappointment anyway. Um, let's get in here with these two. 111957. 111957. So, what's this here? Uh, I guess I'll hold on to that. Uh, these are. Well, that's a speed piece, so that's four speed. I'll just hold on to that. See, like, this is pretty interesting. This would be pretty good on an A Ravi as well. Attack percentage, but there's no defense. Um, and you, you kind of want the crit damage. Uh, I guess I just throw that in there. Probably should just throw that away. Like this, it's like. I'm just gonna throw this away. Don't need that. Oh, actually, you know what? I, I should keep that for, um, the, what's it called? Crit chance. Sometimes you want crit chance pieces. Like, this isn't too bad. Um, uh, but I don't, I don't, like, I don't have any units that are running crit chance pieces right now, so. Crit chance, right, we can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. All right. 11, 19, 5. So we got a max, so we got two max crit chance. So that's pretty good, because now, um, Again, so for, I mean, most, most of you already know this, but you can add all the stats together. So health is 11 plus defense is, uh, that's already 30 points. You want to get at least like 60, like you want to get at least 50. That's a decent piece. 60 is a good piece. And then uh, once you refine, like you're hitting 70s, that's like, you know, that's top tier stuff. So right now we're at 30 when you combine the first two, the health and the defense. Crit chance counts as 1.5. So you get 30 plus 10 is 40 but times the extra 0.5 is um, 45. Uh, speed counts for double, so we got 14 speed. So we've got um, a lust track. 45 plus 14 is 59. So before we, we um, level it up or whatever, we have... That's actually hilarious because it actually rolled the way I, I said. We, we were at 19 here and 7 here, and I was like, okay, we just need one in health and one in crit chance, and <laughs> we got both of them. Uh, you can see over here, these pieces are kind of crap, but... Um, yeah, so we're at about, let's go see, Reforge. Uh, fortunately, oh no, it's actually, what is it? Is it? It's this piece, yeah. You can see I have a bunch of like these materials, but not, it's not because I farm it, just because I don't have any gear to, to level up. Uh, so before we reroll, it's, like I said, it's 40, plus the crit chance is 45. It's 30. 30 before crit chance, crit chance boots it up to 45. Um, the speed is 14, so 45, 55, 59. So we're basically one under 60 because we missed the max speed roll. So if we had hit the max speed roll, we would have been a 60 speed, uh, 60 piece. Right now we have, after uh, refine, it's what? 16 plus 14 is 30, plus the defense is 30 is 53, plus crit chance is 53, 63, 65, plus another six is 71. So we've got 71 after refine. Not the best, but still pretty good. I'm just gonna refine it anyway because I don't, like I said, I don't have enough of these. Um, and this is just beautiful. 23% uh, crit uh, defense percentage is not bad, but we we did min roll in there somewhere, so we basically just got all a bunch of flat like a bunch of mid rolls basically. Um, is what they all equated to. The crit chance is pretty good. We're getting 12% off of just two rolls being sacrificed there, which isn't too bad. The speed is kind of disappointing because we got to refine and it's boosting it up to what it should have been, which it should have been eight to begin with, and it could have been nine. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to go switch over to the units right now. We're going to take a look at, like, um, I guess a kind of a technique that you can kind of help you, like, is this good? No, it's not. Uh, it can kind of help you, like, you know, help you build uh, units and whatnot. So we'll be right back. Uh, okay, uh, so it turns out I didn't actually have the unit I needed. So, um, but anyway, the 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 what I was meant what I was kind of mentioning what I wanted to to show was like sometimes what I like to do if I have two units that are um, they have the same like stats and everything, and I'm not using one. I used to I like to just put the gear on that unit and then have them wear the like you know. So if I get a new piece or whatever before I have the unit, I'll be like, okay, this is you know I'm gonna put this on them and I'll put this on them. I just have like somewhere. Someone to build on top of, and then just transfer that whole set over <clears throat> to ARAV or whatever unit, right? Uh, but I don't have anyone to replace that, so we're going to go look at the character in my in my thing. Because uh, they're both Cancer Warriors, and they both have the same stats. Um, funnily enough, they both have the same stats, but like one is scaling off of defense, and one scales off of HP. Which I thought was kind of weird. Um, 
Like I feel like if a unit wanted to scale off HP, you'd, you'd probably give them higher HP. So if we come look at um, her, again, it's the same thing. She's HP scaling, um, but she also is the same stats, right? So that's how that's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, so we're going to go to... I can, I can use Dilibet or I can use um, Valencia, whichever one. I should, I should probably put it on Alencia, right? Because um, I'm not actually using her because she doesn't have gear. Currently. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just going to put all, all everything I'm going to put on uh, A-Ravi. I'm going to put on Alencia, and then we'll go from there. All right, but anyway, that was, that was what I was going to show you. And I was probably just going to do this here. But um, I'm, I'm going to cut now, and we're going to go back to the, the crafting thing. And we're going to go... Cause I have to. What I have to do is I have to go look at my units and see who needs like what piece they need specifically, and then go from there. Oh yeah. So for now, I'll, I'll I'll do that in a little bit, and I'll pause right now. Okay. So here we are. Um. Yeah. So usually, I mean, you can see there. I don't have that many materials. Usually, like people do these, they have like forty thousand, hundred thousand materials or something uh, crazy like that. But I don't actually have that many. So um, we're just gonna we're just gonna you know see how it goes. We're probably gonna I don't know do ten at a time for like every every piece uh right now the main priorities uh are um sets for violet and charlotte those are the two main people i need sets for my violet's fine but i really want them to be like as high tier as possible so we're getting the the, the new arena stuff and I, I forgot to look at it but i imagine hopefully one of those pieces in there is a good pen set piece and the other piece i can just um make in the uh what's it called you guys know what it is the um the the new uh equipment event that we're getting next the other one i can just make in there so um then he'll have two and then he'll be fine theoretically right uh so the, for, for now we're going to be looking at lifesteal stuff um swords i'm not going to do swords right now do i need helmets i do need helmets <laughs> so lifesteal crit damage is always good because i mean i still need pieces for um for ML Ken, so let's kind of take a look here. We're gonna get rid of all these. Um, one off max, one off max, and the crit damage is kind of low. I kind of like it though. I think I'm gonna hang on to this uh, for something like a um, uh, Moonlight Maya, Fighter Maya. Uh, life steal, crit damage, effect resistance, and attack. So the crit damage is one off max, F res is max, and attack is low. I'm not gonna keep this. Well, yeah, that that, that if that F res was something else, I'd probably keep that and, and just throw it on my uh, on, try to use it on the um, the Charlotte. But for now, no. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. But there's no crit chance. There's no crit damage. It's all just tanky stats. And there's no unit that wants a counter set that just wants to sit there and counter without like doing damage. Like if there's attack, you want damage. But if there's not attack, then maybe you want like effectiveness or something, right? And they're all kind of like minerals, and then the health is low, so that's no. Um, this max speed, one off min, and max health. This is just kind of not. Well, who can use this? These stats, these top stats right here are all Soul Weaver stats, and I can just replace this with something else. So I'm just going to hang on to that. Uh, let's see here. This is pretty good. Health, chance, health, max health, max crit chance, and one off, uh, two off max crit damage. Or is it one off? I think it's two off. Um, that's not bad. The two speed here is kind of bad. Max crit chance, defense, and effectiveness. They're both min. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that for that. Uh, let's. So I'm I'm extracting all these right now just to get more materials to like um, form the helmets because I have like a bunch of um, reforge mats for the the equipment conversion thing, um, but like. I have like 3,000 of them, and I don't have any gear that is worth using them on, so that's kind of something I'll, I'll be looking for. Uh, this is bad. It's kind of bad. Defense, attack, no, nah, it's kind of bad. Life steal, that's kind of bad. Defense, crit chance, and defense, this is also kind of bad. Okay, so let's get these out of here. Yeah, so. Uh, Let's see. I think next, probably after this, is going to be like. Hmm. Not sure. Might do necklaces. Well, let's get rid of those. Um. 
attack effectiveness no speed attack and effectiveness no nope one look at one look at it um lifesteal nope nothing here nothing here and nothing here okay so as you can see here like <laughs> rolling is such a miserable experience or crafting I mean <laughs> Uh, let's arrange. Um, the other reason I'm, I'm kind of like turning them into like those little ice cubes, uh, the, the reforging materials or whatever, it's kind of, this is really bad, um, is because the gold, like they've kind of like, they haven't like fixed the gold issue and they've just kind of like, gold is still valuable, which is good. I mean, you never want to like, quote unquote, fix the gold issue because fixing the gold issue in a lot of people's minds is going to just be like making gold kind of worthless. So gold is still worth something, but like you can kind of take it easy now. Like I don't have to like, you don't have to just sell everything to make sure you can get through all your materials you can you can just not uh, you can just you know save them uh max nothing there's nothing in here that's uh, this is kind of bad uh what's this crit chance one off max not it's garbage uh this is a really damaged daily piece but the crit chance is the only thing that's high and the only person who would want to wear this would probably be something like a uh an ml ken but like Crit damage is min, and then attack percentage is min, and you can't just like, like the thing with ML Ken is you can't like, you can't double dip, right? You can't just be like, I want a flat attack and, and then attack percentage, because he does need every single stat, so, yeah. Uh, effectiveness on an effect resistance piece, nope. <laughs> Speed, crit damage, and effect resistance on a crit damage set. Um, no, okay. Let's get rid of these. Okay, so we've done a few of those. Okay, so we still have... Yeah. Let's take a look at this here. So we got this, this, this. Uh, crit damage. Defense, nah, this is garbage. Um, this is pretty good for a slow Soul Weaver, but the only slow Soul Weaver is Rowana. Um, but I'll just keep that anyway. Attack, effectiveness, and effect resistance. Nope. Effect resistance. Mm, nope, garbage. Uh, attack, defense, garbage. Uh, attack, health, mineral on attack, and then flat attack, and then HP. No, this is bad. Uh, effect resistance, life steal. Nope. And this actually looks pretty good. What is this? Counter set with crit chance, max crit chance, medium crit damage. Well, one off min, one off min for crit damage. Uh, two off max for crit for attack percentage, and then this. I might keep this just because I don't have like that many like. Like good statted um, counter set stuff, uh, but then the rolls might be able to save this. Um, we'll see. They have to like you'd have to like max roll all of them, which is not likely, but I think it's still worth keeping. Uh, let's go back. But yeah, I like all the stats on this. So so far we haven't gotten anything. The only pieces we've saved are like counter set pieces. This kind of set pieces are a little easier because you can just like drop all the speed and then like do nothing but um like good stats that's what makes counter sets so appealing is like you can just kind of drop speed and then like build good stats basically so we're at 22 I'm gonna I'm gonna burn five so we're, when we're at 20 when, when we're at 20,000 I'll move on to, to another piece <laughs> another um type of another equipment piece whatever thing set uh, effect resistance, nope. Um, nope. Uh, nah. You want crit damage on crit damage sets. Crit chance, attack, and effect resistance. Eh, it's not really. Nothing there. Crit damage, yeah, no, it's not worth. Force speed, effect resistance, defense. Uh, this is kind of awkward, and I really don't want it. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see. This is kind of interesting. Flat defense, high crit chance, and max attack percentage. I really wish that was like defense percentage or something. That would have been way better. I don't really like that one though. Ooh, look at this. Crit chance, attack. See, the fact that it's like max attack, or one off max, and then flat attack, and then one off max crit chance makes it kind of interesting. Um, but I don't know. This is kind of fishy. Especially, like, if I'm going to replace, because basically this would only be replacing the gear I have on um, 
violet. Uh, this is... Nah, that's kind of bad. I mean, it's got effectiveness, so there you go. Counterattack, health, crit chance, and effectiveness. Nope, it's garbage. Uh, garbage. I think I'm just going to keep that just in case. Uh, yeah. Let's see. How much do we have? 22,000? Okay. These go, these go, these don't go by that fast when I'm recording, I guess. When I'm, when I'm not recording, these go by, like, crazy fast. Uh, that's probably because I'm, like, talking through every piece. Or not every piece, but, like, a bunch of pieces when I'm going. I'm just, I'm looking at it, I'm just scanning it. I'm like, nah, it's all garbage. Uh, garbage. Uh, garbage. Uh, I don't have to click on them. It's just, like, for some reason, like, looking at the stats here is not as easy as, like, opening this up and looking at it this way. But I guess my brain is just not used to looking at them like that. Crit chance, effectiveness. Nope. Uh, effect resistance, it's got effectiveness on there, and it's got crit damage, that's a waste. Crit damage... No, that's a waste, not even ML Ken can use that. Uh, 33, 6, 4... No, it's garbage, okay. Uh, we're getting a lot of garbage here. Like, not even like... It's not even like... I don't know, because sometimes you, you watch people's videos of this, and like, they're throwing away gear that like... Oh, I could use that, like, my stuff isn't even that good, but like, we're getting a lot of pieces that aren't even like usable like i mean look at this no one's gonna use this who's gonna use this it's not even usable uh we're not even we're not even looking for top tier gear we're just looking for usable gear like, look at this like all these stats on the health on the lifesteal set basically like we're getting a lot of stuff like this it's just like these stats on this set it's like what why why um crit damage uh no it's not that's not good Mm, speed, effectiveness, and attack. Um, no, it's not. Yeah, it's just not good. Oh, look at this. Defense, max, nah, I don't know. Yeah, the effective resistance and the flat, nah, it's not. It's max attack percentage, which is would be pretty cool, but nah, it's not worth it. Uh, let's go over here. Let's craft some more. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um... This, this. Counterattack with crit damage, defense, and attack. They're both mineral, though, so that's kind of, yeah. I guess that piece is, like, this piece is probably an example of something somebody might want, but I don't know. You really don't want to, like, be using that. Defense, health, and crit chance. Max crit chance. Oh, this is a um, effect resistance piece. Uh, it needs speed. Like, the three stats you need on effect resistance are health, or health and speed are the two, the two main stats you need on effect resistance. If you're running an effect resistance set, you probably want effect resistance, so the main, the, the minimum three you need is health, effect resistance, and speed. And then on top of that, after that, you can, you know, take whatever you want, right? You can take uh, defense percentage or speed or whatever and hope you, like, roll the last stat in speed or whatever, right? That's kind of what you want there. Uh, effect resistance, health, and then flat defense. So this is pretty good um, for a slow one. But again, we've already got kind of that covered with the other piece um, that I had for Rwanda. Uh This is garbage. And I'll be right back. Okay, that was actually like, I don't even know, four hours in between <laughs> when I left. Um, hopefully I wasn't on any sort of strange tangent. Uh, I kind of like this one, but the crit damage is, is kind of low. So we're just going to drop that. Um, we're going to drop that. Uh, do we need this? Crit damage, uh, defense percentage. Def uh, no, nah, we're going to drop that. Uh, crit damage attack. No, nah, we're going to drop that too. So we're not overly successful right now. Let's go take a look at this. Okay, so once that reaches 20,000, we're gonna move on to like chess pieces. Um, like I said, I have to go look at that, um, like the graphic that shows us all the next, the, the gear sets that's coming in the next season of Arena, but hopefully, oh my gosh, one speed, hopefully at least one of them is worth putting on Violet. Um, I think one of the problems that looked like from what I was looking at it was a lack of crit damage. Like, I don't think any piece had enough crit damage. Um, but we'll see. We'll have to see. Uh, let's see. Attack percentage. Crit damage. Nope, that's garbage. Um, crit chance, garbage. Uh, garbage. Uh, crit chance. Max crit chance, max speed, but it's on a counter set and that defense is garbage. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Uh, no equipment. Let's go look over here. So we can do it like three times, three extra times. So let's arrange here. 
Um, we're looking at effect resistance, garbage, crit chance, the garbage, uh, garbage, uh, HP, defense, defense. This looks kind of interesting. It's a little too defensive though. Uh, crit chance. This isn't the worst. Crit chance. I'm not sure who could use this though is a problem. The crit chance is kind of uh, middling, and the health is kind of middling, and the crit damage is also pretty middling. So we're just going to get rid of that, just because, I mean, I probably have pieces like that already. Uh, this looks pretty interesting. What's going on over here? Oh, this is pretty good. Uh, one-off max, crit chance. Wow, one-off max everything, except for health where we have max, and defense is flat. So I'm going to keep this. This looks pretty good. I don't know how to use this on, but it looks pretty good. Um... This looks kind of interesting, but there's not enough crit damage, so it's not worth. Uh, let's go over here. So I'm only that one piece out of that one. Okay, so a range. I'm not like the most exciting when it comes to doing this stuff, so I mean, for anyone, feel free to like, let me know in the comments if this is anything that's even worth interesting, even worth looking at uh, on this channel. I mean, a lot of other people are doing it. See, this looks pretty decent, but two speed is already sad, and this is two speed, and there's no crit damage and effect resistance. This one looks pretty interesting. Uh, crit chance, uh, one off max, one uh, max attack percentage with extra attack. I'm not sure who could use this, but I might. I'm just gonna hold on to it for now. Like, you know, who could use this? Uh, something like Kron could use this, but you would you want what you really want is like crit chance, attack, and then crit damage, and then like you know, roll them pretty well. Uh, but flat attack isn't too bad. Like, if you're running a counter set K Ron, which for one, you shouldn't be running a counter set K Ron because that's dumb. Uh, and for two, no, that's, that, that's basically it. Yeah, just for one. Don't run counter set K Ron because that's dumb. Uh, everything here is good. Effect resistance is min, but the, the speed and the health are pretty good. And the crit damage, you can swap it to something else, but um, I might hang on to that for, for a second. Uh, crit chance, health. Effect resistance. Uh, this piece is kind of wonky. I'm not really down with it. Crit damage and all this other uh, flat stats. Okay. So we're going to keep this because, I mean, you can re roll this to like defense percentage, and there you go. It's a pretty perfect um, effect resistance set for like a Soul Weaver or something like that. Or basically, yeah, basically just a Soul Weaver. Um, yeah, we're going to extract this and do one more. This will put us. Let's see. Oh, okay, well, I guess that's that. Um, I'm probably going to end this video here. and Or, no, actually, I'm going to pause it and come back so we can, like, upgrade some of that gear. Because this is a good place to stop anyway. So we're going to pause it and um, come back and you'll see me upgrading gear. Okay, so we, we cleaned out some stuff and we went in. So, in terms of Soul Weaver, Soul Weaver pieces, I'm not, like, hurting for a Soul Weaver right now. Um, but they're never bad. It's just, like, sometimes your Soul Weavers are lacking behind your other units because you kind of just, like, you're a little lazy to just make a Soul Weaver better. Um, so we'll come back to that, but this, uh, it's not, I don't really feel like upgrading that. This is kind of all right, but it's not really worth this one again. It's the same. This looks pretty interesting. Um, if we can kind of dodge the defense percentage, I think this will be a good piece, a great piece even. Um, this one looks pretty good for, I'm probably going to boost this one. Let's see how that one turns out. Uh, again, this is another soul weaver piece. Uh, and then lastly, uh, defense. Yeah, this is a pretty good piece for um, what's her name, Fighter Maya. Uh, so let's let's boost this one. See how we how we look here. How many? How much? Yeah. Oh, damn, we have a bunch. Fifty-five, sixty-four. Um, so we got a four, which is one off max. This isn't too bad. Fifty-nine, sixty-four. 59.64, so we got a 7 roll there, so 7 and 4, well, I mean the 11 divided by um, 2 would be 5 and a half, so we basically got 2 mid rolls here, so the fact that it was 7 kind of helped it out a little bit there, let's boost this up, 59.60.11, 59.6, so we got a minimum attack percentage roll. This isn't too bad, but I'm not liking the rolls so far. Well, 
So we got one min here. We started off with a min defense, and then we got a, a high defense roll. So let's just let's bring it to 12 and see what we get. This piece actually is pretty good. Um, that's sort of an overview where we're looking at it. Um, we only got one min roll. Well, we got two min rolls because one stat started out as a min roll. 59, 10, 11, 59. And we got a max crit chance roll. So this piece is already um, pretty good for someone who needs a lot of crit chance. Fortunately, the problem being we're not getting any crit damage, and the crit damage is kind of basically it's one off minimum, right? Um, which is the main problem. Um, do I have anything I can feed into this? How did you turn out? Uh, effectiveness. <laughs> I'm gonna drop you. I don't know why. I don't know why I boosted that anyway. To begin with, that looks like garbage. This looks like garbage. I'm probably gonna drop this. Should I drop? Yeah, I think I should just drop this. This is this is yeah, this is garbage. Um, five, fourteen, ten, eleven, ten. So we got. See, like this is this is what I'm talking about. So we got like three rolls into attack percentage because we started with one and we got two more, right? This is this is what I'm talking about when we talk about rolls. So we got three rolls into attack percentage, but all we got was the equivalent of two max rolls. Like if I had started off with eight and then rolled one more in eight. We would have had this much attack and then like we'd have another roll to just put in crit damage um but again like i said the the fact that we have uh basically three max rolls into crit chance uh is not too bad um because sometimes you're missing a lot of uh crit chance on on certain units here and there so you know somebody could use this unfortunately this is probably like mainly you want to use this on like a bruiser or something so you you kind of want the crit damage a little higher but uh, that, that's how that is yeah, all in all, it didn't turn out too bad. Um, like I said, the, the problem with the attack percentage is we, we rolled too low on that. Uh, what was the other one that we were looking at? This one. Uh, max health and max uh, crit chance. So let's, let's take a look here. 65, 8. 658. 8. So we got a min roll. So that's, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like the there's no there's not always a big reason to stress out about like your pieces so we got two rolls here so that's three rolls into this and if they were all max we'd have 24. unfortunately we're at 18 so we're missing uh six percent off um the health percentage so we could have 24 right now which it is what it is um yeah we'll, we'll leave that for now uh what's over here what's over here I could probably roll this one too. As long as we dodge the flat defense here, we're, we're basically solid on this piece. Like any other, like one off max crit chance, max uh, health, and then max, um, a one off max crit damage. Okay, so we went four and four, which isn't too bad. So eight, eight, seven. Let's see, we just dodge flat defense. Eight, eight, seven. Eight. We only went up 3%. So we're getting a lot of crit chance. Man, what's up with today's crafting session and just everything rolling into crit chance? Um, let's just boost it up to 9 and see where we get. Okay, let's see where we at. 11, 11 Ooh, we got a max uh, health roll there. That's not too bad. So crit chance, we started off and we got two rolls into crit chance. We should be... If we're talking about max rolls, we should be at 15%. We're four off max, which isn't the worst. But the fact that we're at max uh, HP is pretty darn good. Um, yeah, this is a pretty fun piece here. Let's, uh, I'm actually curious to see how this will go. Well, we'll do one more roll and see. Um, if, it, if, it, if we get another high roll, I'm probably going to go to... Tw uh, probably going to max it out. Um, but if we get another, like... If we get a middling roll, I'll just leave it at 12 and then upgrade it later when I, in, when I might need it or not. Whether I might need it or not. Um, okay, 11, 16, 7. 11, 16. So we got a 5% crit chance roll there. So again, I'm not sure what's up with all these pieces and rolling humongous uh, crit chance. And what, this is one of the problems with my account specifically. Is I do have a lot of pieces like with high crit chance and not a lot of crit damage. Like if you look at a lot of my builds, they're missing uh, crit damage like all over the place. Um... Like my Alencia, I haven't been able to get my Alencia up to 300% crit damage. Uh, this, this is a different set, we're not talking about that, but like, you know what I mean? Like, 
Uh, I'm gonna give him this. Should we give him this? Probably. Um, yeah, like my Alencia, she's not... I haven't been able to get her to 300% crit damage, like, in the pure stats, because I don't roll a lot of crit damage. I don't know why, I just I keep dodging it. Um, on, like, most of the gear I roll. Okay, so 14. Let's roll this here, and we're gonna drop one of these, and then we're gonna go down here. 16, 16, 7. Hopefully I get a crit damage roll. That's all I need to make this piece uh, solid. Like, a lot of these pieces are, are worthless. Like, this is worthless. Um, 16, 16, 7. I mean, we got, the, <laughs> we hit the defense. Uh, I could probably, I don't know what I'd swap this to, but right now we have, what, 16%, or 16 crit chance is 1.5, so right now we're at 24 points. Uh, 24 points plus 10 is 34 points, plus 6 is 40 points, 47, and we can, we'll pretend this is like, eight percent defense we'll, we'll, we'll give it no we'll give it two mid rolls so we'll say five and five um so that's ten and i lost track immediately <laughs> uh well we were at 40 with this and then we're at 47 plus 10 is 57 so this is a 57 piece ish kind of i'm not sure how well this defense rolled um i guess i could uh let's go look at it over here we could modify the de the defense into like a percentage i'm not going to right now but just to look at um, so we can pretend this is like, yeah, this is exactly what I had calculated. So it's about a 10% uh, defense stat, right? So if I have, I don't have any flat defense. Uh, well, actually defense rolls higher. Oh no, this is a different piece. Yeah. Uh, different, uh, whatever. Oh, but yeah. So let's see attack and this. Okay. So yeah, we're about 10, right? We can kind of average that out because this always has low rolls. So I could have rolled higher. Uh, but this is 10%, so this is a 50-something piece. That's, that's all right. It's not too bad, but it's not too good. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. We can take a look at this one here. Did I already calculate this? I'm not sure. Crit chance is 14 plus 7 is 21. Plus 16 is 21 is 37. Uh, 48 and 54. So this is a 54 piece here. Um... 54. What do we get over here? We got a pretty high score on this. I don't remember what it was anymore. Uh, 54. That's not too bad. Obviously, you want to hit 60. Um, if I hadn't min-rolled a few of these things, then, you know, we'd be in a better place. But uh, it is what it is. This, is. this is exactly why we're losing out here. So the fact that we lost an entire attack percentage roll because of the, how, how they rolled is kind of where we're, we're struggling here. So that'll be it for today. Um, the next video will probably be me crafting, like, uh, I don't know, moving on to chess pieces. Um, chess pieces are another sticking point. I need a few of those. So yeah, um, for me it'll be instantaneous, but for you it'll be another video. Uh, till then.